So there you have it. It's that easy. The Intel 8265 wireless card is by no means top of the pile. In fact, it's probably not even middle of the pile. But you know what? It's $17. So if you're tired of this laptop's built-in wireless cutting out and doing weird stuff all the time, replace it. Yeah, I know, it sucks having to put a wireless card in a laptop that you just bought, but how much is your time and headache worth? I mean, you could return the laptop, which is probably what I'm gonna do. But I wanted to see if it would work, and hey, the new FCC headline about not voiding your warranty taking stuff apart, that seems pretty cool, right? Yeah, I really wish Lenovo had spent the extra $3 or whatever it was to get a uh, wireless setup in this thing that actually works well, because this, whatever it ships with, didn't work. But this upgrade, this makes all the difference in the world. I'm getting 100 to 200 megabit pretty consistently. I've seen peaks of 300 megabit, and you know, on a two by two solution, the absolute max you're gonna get is 433 megabit. So two to 300 megabit is pretty good. It's a lot better than the 10 to 100 megabit that I was experiencing before. So this is a lot more satisfactory. If you wanna do this upgrade yourself, all you need is a T6 Torx screwdriver, and I use a double zero Phillips screwdriver to take out the Phillips screw that secures the wireless card. The uh, antennas just snap in. Just be real careful when you're removing it. You could do this upgrade in 20, 30 minutes max. So if that's something that you want to do, hey, show off in pictures. If you get lost, come to the forums of level one. I'm Wendell. I'm signing out, and I'll see you there.